Elegoo just released a handful of new 3D printers, including the Clipper-enabled Neptune 4, which I've had great results with. Along with these, they also released new resin printers, including the Saturn 3 and Saturn 3 Ultra. It seems like just yesterday 4K resolution printers were the gold standard, but now 12K resin printers are starting to hit the market, boasting truly incredible pixel densities on their masking LCD. Today we'll take a look at the latest premium 12K resin printer from Elegoo, the Saturn 3 Ultra. Let's quickly go over the specs. The star of the show is its 10 inch 12K monochrome masking LCD with a pixel size of 19 by 24 microns and a resolution of 11,520 by 5,120. There's tempered glass to protect the LCD. The build volume is 218 on the Y, 122 on the X and 260 on the Z axis. It has a top printing speed of 150 millimeters per hour using high speed resin. That means to print a full plate of average size minifigures at 28 millimeters tall, it would take just under 30 minutes, which is incredible. It runs a Linux operating system with four gigabytes of RAM for Wi-Fi file transfer and remote printing. A laser engraved build plate for better first layer adhesion, four point leveling system, ACF release liner as opposed to the traditional FEP film, which should allow for easier release of the print and faster printing. And a 4 inch IPS touchscreen. The appearance of the machine is very sleek and resembles the angular design of a stealth bomber. The base of the unit is all metal, making for a premium look and feel. and the UV shield has departed from the standard translucent red for more of a smoky gray color. When it comes to resin fumes, they've added a few mitigating solutions here. First, there are these USB powered activated charcoal filters that fit neatly inside the print chamber. There's two USB ports here, so you could run two of these for even better results. And finally, a removable port that can be hooked up to a vent fan or to an air filter like this one that Elegoo makes. Instead of using an array of LEDs and lenses to create even light distribution, they've opted for a much more powerful single COB or chip on board light that passes through a lens and is evenly distributed up to the bottom of the vat by a mirror. Of course, with a more powerful light means more heat and more heat means more cooling. So they've opted for two vents on the back, one for cool air to enter and the other for heat saturated air to disperse from. For slicing, they've provided free lifetime access to the Voxel Dance Tango Slicer. I've never used this slicer before, but the setup was simple, the UI is clean, and there seems to be plenty of options and settings here to fine tune everything, making it a pretty viable option. Okay, now that we have the basics out of the way, let's do some printing. I've been obsessed with the new Diablo, so I searched for a good Diablo model and found this Lilith model from Nom Nom Studios. They offered a pre-supported model, so I threw that in the slicer and sent it wirelessly to the printer.
And just look at these details. I don't think I've ever printed something so detailed. The hard edges of the torso here remain very sharp even at this smaller scale. After some cleanup, here's the assembled model. Next, I found this awesome cat goblin model from user J Wang Creature Sculpt on My Mini Factory. This time I had to manually enable supports in the Tango Slicer. Options here are pretty straightforward and there's presets for more or less aggressive support. Again, we'll print in gray ABS like resin. After a quick isopropyl rinse, here's the model. I still have some support removal to do, but the details here are just insane, capturing every wrinkle on this truly creepy cat. Okay, so what are my initial thoughts on this printer? Well, if miniatures are your thing, then this pixel density will not disappoint giving injection molded kits a good run for their money. The stealth look and solid build makes it feel premium and a handful of thoughtful changes like the larger build tray knob for easy use while wearing gloves make this machine a pleasure to work with. Resin smell is a huge issue for me and I'm glad to see some integrated methods for attacking that problem. I've already 3D printed a hose adapter for use with a ventilation system which should completely dissipate the resin smell from my workshop. Wi-Fi printing is a no-brainer here, and given the file size of resin G-code, it works really well. Special thanks to Elegoo for sponsoring this video and sending this machine to take a look at. If you're interested in more 3D printing content, consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing. Thank you.